Do you sometimes come across questions in exams and you just don't know where to start? Well, let me give you some tips for that. A technique that I teach my students is scaffolding. What I mean by scaffolding is for you to do a number of steps before you actually put pen to paper. The first step of scaffolding is to actually read the question more than once and on the second time round go and highlight and underline key points. Now the idea of scaffolding is that you are building something up just like you would put scaffolding on a building. You are working your way to the final answer. So it's very important that you understand what is the final objective of that question. What does the question want you to give? Let me give you an example question of this. A question could be asking you to find the angle and to find the angle you might need to use trigonometry. But before you get there you might have a side that is missing and in order to find that side you might be needing to use Pythagoras and the lengths of the other triangle on the other side for example may require you to put something into an algebraic equation maybe using ratios. As you can see this question is building upon knowledge of several topics algebraic fractions, ratios, Pythagoras, trigonometry, several topics all crammed into one question and this is something that is very common in the new curriculum for GCSE and that's the reason why many students find it a struggle in order to answer those questions. So practice this method of scaffolding, write down what kind of topics you may need at the start and if you use some of them well done and if you don't use any no problem. Get comfortable with using several topics just to answer one question. The more you practice this, the better you're going to get at it. Wishing you guys all the best in your next exam.